Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and I'm here with my lovely friend, Janessa. And yeah, I wanted to share her experience in this interview that I'm going to do with her in this video of being on one meal a day, which is also known as the OMAD diet, for around a week since she's arrived in Thailand, where I live as well. So, yeah. How has your experience been with eating one meal a day? Has it been really hard? Has it been really easy? Have you noticed that there's been certain things you needed to do to stop hunger? Like, yeah, if you just share your overall experience with it and how it's making you feel as well. Um, I actually found it a lot more easier than I thought it would be. Um, I think it, for me personally, it makes it a little bit more easier because I've had experience with intermittent fasting. Um, so that alone I think made it easier just to like prolong the eating window a little bit longer um, and then being around somebody that is also practicing it helps so much and yeah just having that support makes it a lot easier and also with the hunger um, the main thing was just drinking enough water. Most of the time when I felt hungry, it was really just my body was telling me that I needed to drink water and that I was dehydrated. And then once I had some water, the hunger went away. And overall, I'm enjoying the experience so much. Um, I find that I have way more time in the day to do the things I want to do and not think about food because I also do have a past of distorted eating and um, kind of a bad relationship with food. So I feel like this way of eating definitely helps with that. It helps me to keep my mind focused on what's important and not that food isn't important, but <laughs> yeah, I just find that there's a lot more other things that I want to focus on other than food. Yeah, and it's definitely been a lot easier for her, as you said, because she's around me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not eating multiple meals throughout the day and certain times when she's been hungry, I've been like, no, you're not actually hungry. Your body is just getting used to eating one meal a day and you just need to push through it and a lot of times i've just noticed that she's dehydrated and then she does hydrate and like she said then it's absolutely fine have you found there's any other things that have helped you during the times of feeling hunger to stop actually the hunger from taking over and making you just want to indulge in food before you actually want to break your fast with one meal a day um checking in with my emotions and seeing how i'm feeling in my body if i'm needing some sort of, I don't know what you say, like... Well, it's just like meeting your own emotional needs. Yes. So like, am I feeling sad or am I feeling lack of love with, yeah. with myself or something? So trying to meet those emotional needs rather than mm -hmm. trying to Coming emotionally up. eat with yeah. comfort food. Yeah. Yeah, and also, yeah, have you found that keeping busy within the day yes. is also a key factor? Definitely. Like, and also moving my body and exercising helps a lot with just like, um, yeah, the hunger and not really focusing on food. Yeah, it gets you out of your mind, so to speak, and what mm -hmm. can feel like hunger. And actually, exercise is an appetite suppressant, which a lot of people are unaware of that. And what has made you want to embark on this journey? Um... For the most part, I, I want to heal a lot of my bad habits that I have centered around food and also I'm looking to increase muscle mass, decrease body fat, and I've seen that this is an excellent way to help with that. Um, and yeah, overall just want to increase, or not increase, but um, create a healthier relationship with food in general. Yeah. Because in the past I have used food as a way to cover up a lot of stuff that I'm going through. Yeah, so do you find that it's helping you gain a lot more awareness yes. around yeah. eating mm -hmm. and certain habits you had around eating, so to speak? Yeah, because in the past when I'm bored or I'm going through a lot of emotions, like I'll use food to cover it up. And so, yeah, eating one meal a day just helps a lot with that. Yeah, and also do you find as well that you're making any mistakes with one meal a day with when you're eating or any other mistakes you've noticed so far? Um, definitely eating more than what my body um, is capable of eating. Um, and I think definitely with... What? Go ahead. Well, and sometimes you found that you have been overeating yes. when eating your yeah. one meal. So, yeah, yeah you, you've been finding that you're getting used to how much you actually need to be eating and when you should stop. Yes. Ideally, yeah. 
it's the difference between being satiated and overeating, which you've definitely learned the hard way sometimes recently. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and what would your experience actually be around that? So some people can be aware of whether they're overeating or not, because they, they may be thinking about that. Um, if you do overeat, just be gentle on yourself and don't beat yourself up because it's really easy to do that. And um, yeah, it, make, it may make you want to just give up completely and just know that it's like a learning process and that you will make mistakes along the way. Yeah, and what are some of the signs and symptoms that they have overeaten? Because a lot of people don't actually know. What could you say from your own experience? <laughs> like, if um, someone came to you, what could you tell them to look out for signs of overeating? Feeling like you're about to explode. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just feel, it feels like a more overstuffed feeling than feeling full because I know for me, like I feel good once I'm like 85% full, yeah. not eating past the point of like just complete stuff. <laughs> yeah, stuffed. where you feel it's gonna come up through your yes. neck and out through yeah. your mouth. You feel like you, you don't wanna ever eat food, uh, yeah. food again. And, and you know, also I think you've noticed as well, well, the more you overeat, the lower your energy levels are afterwards. Yeah, and you just want to do that. nothing. <laughs> yeah, and you just want to lay down and yeah. <laughs> not do anything. Yeah, and because she's definitely been around me, and I eat a lot of food, she's not been trying to eat the amount as, um, as much as me, but she's definitely been trying to push it, and sometimes pushed it too far. Yeah. So, yeah, I say to people, don't try and eat as much as me. I can eat a lot more food than most people, and she's a lot smaller in size than me, she has less muscle mass than me, she has more body fat, so she doesn't require as many calories as someone like myself. And I'm a lot more proactive in my life, and yeah, uh, there's many other factors where, yeah, I'm using a lot more calories, there's a lot more calorie expenditure. And I obviously don't have a lot of body fat to burn as fuel. So that is a factor that people need to be aware of. And how's your experience been with training in a fasted state? Because a lot of people have a lot of concern around this and I used to as well, so mm -hmm. yeah. I find that I have a lot more energy when I'm training fasted because my body is not using energy to digest food. And I've I've had lots of experience with fasted training, and so for me it wasn't that wasn't that challenging. Yeah, and she's actually been training a lot of time in the fasted state in the twenty hour plus fasting point throughout the day. So you're actually doing training later in the day, aren't you, rather than in the morning, unlike a lot of people. Yeah, normally I would train right very early in the morning, like sometimes six a.m. And yeah, I don't find that it's. Um, that difficult to exercise like yeah. that, that late in the day. Yeah, a lot of time we've been training anywhere from sort of 1 p.m. or even yesterday was around 3 p.m. and she was absolutely fine with it. And yeah, I am training her alongside the one meal a day diet journey. And she's only just recently got into calisthenics fully. And it's def that's working very well for you as well, isn't it? I love it. It's so much more challenging than the types of exercises I was doing before. Yeah. yeah, which is really cool. And yeah, we are documenting our whole journey with this. Today we started measuring her waist, around the bust area, all these different parts of her body to document her weight loss journey. And we've also taken some video and photo evidence and she will be documenting it all on her YouTube channel and Instagram. So what I'm gonna do is put links down below for both of them. So I do recommend that you check them out, follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her on YouTube. And yeah, you'll be making also informational videos from, from what you said to me on One Meal a Day as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, and calisthenics, and also she'll be showing you what she's doing in her life. What other videos can I expect from your channel as well? Um, I wanna share about my journey like up to now, like how I got to where I'm at now. Yeah because I feel like it would help a lot of people that may feel stuck or maybe um, are in a place where they want to change but don't know how. Um, and I can share my experience and hopefully inspire others to make changes. Yeah, nice. And what I will say, she isn't aware of how many calories she's roughly eating, but, well, I don't think so at least. I'm not. So, <laughs> no but I, But I am more so, because I'm around her eating and I'm just very more clued up on this. Um, She's normally eating around 1,500 calories, so nowhere near the amount that I would normally eat within one sitting. And 
yeah, your experience has the same with mine. What have you found the differences between eating? Well, first off, what foods are you eating? Like, what type of diet are you eating? So people could be aware of this before I go right into now. that. Yeah. Um, a lot more, I guess, I don't know, processed or just like higher sugar and salt content. So are you in a meat diet, paleo diet, oh, keto yeah. diet? <laughs> Um, all vegan. I've been vegan for four and a half years, but the type of vegan diet has definitely changed over the years. And um, since I've been doing one meal a day, I haven't been restricting myself with like certain uh, macronutrients or anything. No like calorie that. counting, no yeah, calorie yeah, restriction. Nothing like that. And yes, yeah, you like you said, you've been eating a lot of vegan junk food. So yes. what type of foods you've been eating? Uh, waffles, ice cream, sandwiches, burgers, pizza. Uh, what else? Pancakes. <laughs> oh yeah, pancakes. So many different things. Pies, uh, cakes. Yeah. 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 And how have you found that in comparison to eating more plant-based whole foods that are not refined processed foods? Do you find that you get fuller quicker with more processed foods or the more whole foods or yeah, which, what's your experience with this? I can eat so much more when it's uh, more processed and i'm just not as satisfied like i can keep eating and eating yeah. and i keep wanting more but with whole foods it's like i'm satisfied with such a small amount like when we ate the burrito and yeah. the curry it was like i couldn't even finish all of it it was like ate half of it and was yeah. like done <laughs> yeah cause it's, the, that's what i say from my own experience just with her it's like the more junk food vegan it is that hasn't got as many micronutrients within it, such as vitamins and minerals and other phytonutrients, I can just continue to eat and eat and eat. And I've noticed that of her, she can eat so much more. And that type of food is a lot more overstimulating for yeah. the senses as well, the taste, so to speak. But yeah, I've noticed when she's eating whole food, she's eating way, way less. So yeah, she's actually eating a, a lot lower calorie intake, which will actually help her get quicker weight loss results. Um, as possible. I don't recommend trying to specifically trying to restrict your calories, but yeah, try and eat more whole plant-based foods that are more nutrient-rich and that are not refined and not processed at all. Because yeah, it's just going to help you give you the. Well, it's just going to help you be as satiated as possible. And also, have you found that it's easier to overeat on processed foods compared to whole foods or not? Yes like so much more like when we were eating the um, burrito and burger that was like very much whole foods like I had no desire to overeat at all like yeah. I just felt completely satiated yeah yeah which is yeah something that I've definitely noticed as well especially when I start to have more vegetables mm -hmm. in the whole form and even grains and seeds and nuts potatoes and, yeah and all yeah. of these different things as well and are you going to continue to just keep eating junk food or what type of direction are you going to go in, in with this one meal a day diet journey? I'm definitely ready to move towards eating majority whole foods. And why is that? It just makes me feel the best. It gives me more energy. I don't feel tired after eating. Uh, my digestion is better. Um, overall, I just feel a lot happier, like eating whole foods. Yeah. Um, yeah, feel more satiated and yeah. yeah yeah we were in Bangkok recently and we were just crazy. indulging and having some fun so yeah not necessarily how I eat most of the time or how he she eats as well and yeah the one last thing we talk about is how has your digestion been prior to eating this way and now so um, to speak well I was eating more whole foods before so I definitely think my digestion was better than mm -hmm. it is now and then because I'm not in general, I'm not used to eating so much junk food. Like I was having really some issues with digestion. Um, but you did actually find out the issue with digestion was yes. actually unresolved emotions and stuff that's yeah. holding on to. So it wasn't necessarily due to the diet, if yes. you remember correctly. <laughs> and I think it's because um, sometimes when I eat junk food, like I have this underlining fear that I'm not going to be able to digest it. And so I think that kind of prevents me from having good digestion. Yeah, because the mind literally... And creates tightness in the body. Yeah, creates our reality. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but did you find once you'd addressed the underlying unresolved emotional uh, emotions within you and the unmet needs, 
that your digestion started to become resolved. Yes, it did. Yeah, so that's something that people need to be aware of. Research metaphysical anatomy. I'd recommend getting a book by Vet Carter on this subject. It talks about how health issues are actually related to unresolved traumas, unmet needs, unmet emotional needs, and belief systems and patterns and behaviours that we have within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot more to getting optimal digestion and health than just working on the external, physical, human aspects of yes. things. So it's certainly very, very key. And so many people are not healing the emotional body, so to speak, and yeah, there's only so much you can do with the external before you need to go internal to start addressing unresolved things in yourself. So that's something mm -hmm. to be very, very mindful and aware of. And is there anything else you'd like to add before we end to inspire or motivate anyone else to start on this journey? Um, just knowing that no matter your background or how fit you are or whatever, like you can try one meal a day and I think it can benefit anyone. Like it's not for one type of person um, and I think if you yeah if you're interested in trying it I would say go for it and don't be afraid of what other people may think yeah and it's all about how bad do you want it yeah get that burning desire within you and have a big why as to why you are doing it because if you do not it's going to be a lot harder mm -hmm. to stay if you're just doing it because it's a fad diet you're more than likely going to slip up and not stick to it so for her, she wants to get the results that she wants to from it. So that is something that she needs to focus upon at all times. In times where she wants to slip up and eat multiple meals and do other certain things that could slow down and hinder her process, she can think about her big why that will help her stick to her one meal a day diet journey. And one last thing I'd like to ask you is, if you had one tip for someone to succeed on one meal a day that's just found out about it, what would your tip be? Do as much research as you possibly can and look for the people that have been doing it long term and have results. Yeah. Because if you follow those people, then it's just going to motivate you, inspire you to keep going because it worked for them. Yeah, exactly. And you can find loads of those types of videos for information on Succeeded on One Meal Down this channel. And you'll be able to find them on our channel very soon once she starts making them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, as I said, go and check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, she's going to have so much amazing content for you coming in the very near future. So yeah, if you have any questions for me or her, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about her one week journey on this one meal a day diet journey. And she will also be posting other videos in the future documenting her, well, sharing her whole one month journey. Mm -hmm and then things like a six month journey and a year journey in the future and so forth. So yeah, you'll get to see her full journey over time. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the videos you can expect to get from me on a regular basis are one meal a day informational videos, intermittent fasting videos, vegan one meal a day mukbang videos, what I do in the day videos, calisthenics workout and progression videos, and all types of other different videos to teach you of all the different, well, teach you about all the different things that you need to educate yourself to, to get the body inside the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And also at the same time to be inspired and motivated by me to push yourself in that direction to get the results that you desire. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go again. Peace.